Here's a Volkswagen Type 4 oil cooler that I've mounted in this metal frame which will go inside a fiberglass roof scoop on the Baja bug. I had this in place once before and concluded that the air was probably just going around this cooler not through it. I'm going to turn it so the sunlight is on this side. So it mounts in the roof scoop at a slight angle. The back of the roof scoop is sloped. So this is more perpendicular to the airflow through the scoop. But I originally mounted it without these baffles, which I just recently made. So, I mean, it, it looks like the air should be going this way, right? But in truth, the air is going to come from this side, but it can't get through here. It's going to have to go through here. I added some foam here to plug this leak where the air could pass through here and come out there and these little gaps like this I'm probably not going to worry about. This shape got a little complicated to go around this. This bracket is off of the Volkswagen so on the Type 3 engine this would be inside the engine supporting this cooler. I just incorporated that into this metal frame. And then the four holes here it's the same bolt pattern as a store-bought cooler so if one day I decide store-bought is the way to go, I've got the right bolt pattern. So again, you can see using an adapter here that normally would be on top of the engine, taking the place of the cooler, mating it directly to the cooler, created a remote unit. These screws, as I recall, go all the way through to nuts here. A short bolt on the top and the same seals in here as you'd see at the mating point between the cooler and the engine on the Volkswagen normally and I'm running this just a gravity feed back to the sump so the pressure that this thing is under is very minimal but I did use the Parker push lock hose if I chose to, I could run it at the full engine oil pressure and see if it leaks. But for now, and I don't want to have, you know, oil drip coming off of the roof of the car. So for now, it's just running. It's the output from the bypass filter that runs through this and then returns to the sump. These hoses are too small to run the full flow of the engine oil. So in a few moments I'm going to get this bolted inside the scoop and uh, maybe start another video. Thank you.